All right, so it's day two and the hole digging went not great. Um, so I dug the first hole by hand and, uh, well, let's be this one over here. I dug this hole by hand. All right, right there. There you go. Was that the one? Or was it the one over there? No, I think it was this one. I dug this one by hand as far as I could. And uh, I think I decided it was good, basically. It was at the about as far as I could get with the post hole digger thing there and decided I'm going to rent a powered digger because that was a lot of work. It took me 20 minutes just to dig one hole. So I had five other holes, went and rented a digger for 33 bucks. One man, like steel. I'll show you a picture. I took a couple of pictures of what it is. So I'll put it up here. But it was a one man digger, steel, had like a two foot auger on it with an extension. And uh, started trying to dig the other holes. And uh, it would work a little bit and then it just wouldn't work. Cause as I discovered with this hole, and one of the reasons it took so long is I think I have hard pan, it's my best guess. My best guess is I have hard pan under the, about a foot, I got about a foot deep and it is like a rock kind of. Um, I just able to jam my, I have this steel Fiskars shovel. I was able to jam it down in the hole and pry it back and forth and get it to loosen up and switch between that and the post hole digger and I could work my way through that layer. And once I got through that layer, you get down to the bottom, like, I don't know how much further. That, maybe it's another, the next foot is a uh, hard pan, probably a foot of hard pan. It, var it varied a little bit. It seemed like some of them were a little harder than others, or harder for longer, but uh, once I made it through the hard pan, it wasn't as bad. But that digger got that foot down and hit the hard pan. It just sat there. It did nothing. So I had to end up digging out all these holes through the hard pan, at least by hand. And thankfully, once I got through that, I tried it again with the extension on to do the last foot, foot and a half, two feet, whatever it was. I'm not sure how far I got down exactly. I think maybe I got like three and a half feet. I don't think the digger was long enough to do four feet, but I should be fine. Anyway, this is in a house. So the, um, it didn't end up working in the end, but I was very frustrated. I ended up catching, I'll switch this around. I ended up catching, losing, um, kind of hold of the one man, uh, post hole digger and, uh, jacked my finger pretty good, uh, middle finger on my left hand. And, so, I don't know, I sprained it. I am I did that at the beginning, and then I dug the rest of the holes, so it was kind of stiff by the end of the day. Still stiff this morning. I've iced it a few times. But anyway, we got the holes dug, and now it's time to start setting posts. I am not a pro at this, so don't judge me. Uh, <laughs> I don't have enough uh, forming pins to do, like, a, every one has an individual pin. But uh, as you'll see... I think my method will work in the end. I'm going to, because these are all close enough together, this isn't like a big, huge building, I'm going to start to sort of set the structure with some temporary ones, because it's eight feet. So I'm gonna use a, I'm gonna take an eight foot um, board. I'm gonna mark it at eight feet, and then I'm gonna screw that board to it to sort of set that distance. So I'm gonna do that at head height. I'm gonna do that at ground level. At least that's the goal. And so those two posts will be set. I'll set some angled ones, but probably won't have posts in them. Um, holding them at an angle, unless I, I have a couple of forming pins. I got like three or four of them. I need to get some more. But uh, I'll probably use those in a few places. But if I figured if I can get all six of those posts to sit square with each other and hold itself up as like a standing semi-rigid structure and get all those posts level as best I can. It's going to be close enough for a playhouse, hopefully. Um, so, all right, let's get to it.
Okay, so my bracing is done. Posts are up, braces are in. It was trickier, a little trickier than I expected, although I did expect that I would run into something. So um, I think this is in general a pretty good method for something this size. Obviously if it was a building, you wouldn't do all the horizontal bracing, although maybe you'd do some of it. I watched one video where a guy did the, I don't know, he probably did head high bracing sideways on his pole building to um, just to make sure his post spacing was right. And then he made sure his posts were level from there, like vertically. And I guess that makes sense that that would work. Um, but I did at the bottom too, just to make sure that this was like extra stable because I didn't have a ton of forming pins in order to brace every post two directions and then make sure it was braced. So here, let me show you something. So normally on these diagonal posts, they would have forming pins on those. I just have them jammed into the ground, basically. They're just co bottom corners catching. But here's one of the things that I didn't account for when I was digging these holes and I did not feel like fixing the holes. So we're going with it is I don't know if you can't really tell here if you can if I hold it up this is dark in the hole you tell how it's in this inside corner so see the whole thing that is jammed into the inside corner so what I did when I was measuring this all out was the outside edge of this post is like directly down the center of the hole I measured 8 by 12 which is the outside of each of these posts. So I did not think to take into account the thickness of the post. So on these corner posts, they're all sort of jammed into the corner of the hole. And on the center posts, if you can see, it's still really dark. Maybe I'll shove it down in here. You can kind of tell. This is centered on the hole uh, from side to side, but it is shoved into that side of the hole at the very bottom. And it's, there's a gap there, but down at the bottom, the, I used the uh, auger and it's eight inches, a little smaller than the hole is at the top. So yeah, they're all jamming in the corner. So in the future, uh, note to self, and if you're ever doing something like this, take into account the thickness of the posts and measure for your holes, what would be the center of the post? So they're four by four, so they're like, what, three and a half inches? So inch and uh, three quarters in from each side. So whatever that math would be uh, for your thing. But take an inch and three quarters off twice of every dimension if you're using four by fours. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. So those each keep it from racking this way. And that one is because it needed to go that side needed to rack that way slightly but then that every single one of these posts is vertical according to my level so i guess we're good and all these boards i measured just to make sure i wasn't crazy but every one of these boards it's six feet from there to there that's why those overlap it's eight feet from there to there and i even took and made a mark here if you can see it there's a mark right there probably can't because the shadow let me find one where you can see it see if we can get outside of the shade shadows can't see it on the camera anyway you might be able to see it there's a mark right there so i didn't want to cut them right to eight feet obviously eight foot lumber if you know comes ever so slightly longer quarter to half an inch longer but anyway that's what we're doing. Now it's time to pour concrete in these holes and pray to our good Lord I didn't forget something or mess something up. Because once concrete's set, the post ain't going anywhere. I guess I'll be working with what I have then. But, all right. Um, hope I'm not uh, forgetting anything. And now it's time for me to work on concrete. We're using quick set, our fast set, um, so I'll pour it in the holes dry. I need to follow, find, look at the instructions. And I think there's a certain amount of water you pour in the hole with it using a, like a bucket. I think I have a bucket with measurements on it. 
and then you leave it and it's supposed to set up in 20 to 30 minutes and it um, was like says don't put any strain on it for like four hours so we'll probably be done it's time two o'clock yeah won't do anything else today tomorrow will be the next um the next step i guess so i'll move the camera so you can see me putting the concrete in So I miscalculated on the number of bags. I got nine, was estimating one and a half per hole. I think that was more of an estimation based on a, actually an eight inch hole for with a four inch post. But my shovel's like nine and a half inches and I had to use that for a lot of it. So it widened out the holes quite a, a little bit, which increased my, my guess. So I think I need about six more bags. Um, I guess might have been under to start with. Probably should have been more like two bags. But, uh, yeah, so gotta go get more bags. <laughs> 